Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving a kind of extreme early preview of RPCS3, which is the PlayStation 3 emulator running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So for those of you who haven't watched my last video or don't know about PlayStation 3 emulation, RPCS3 is a very popular PlayStation 3 emulator, which is still in alpha even on the Windows platform. And now there has been some substantial work being completed on the macOS version of this emulator. Most Notably, the emulator has recently received pull requests to implement Metal Graphics API rendering in the form of Molten VK. This translates the Vulkan Graphics API into the Metal Graphics API, which is required for Apple Mac hardware. So after I made my last video, I got in touch with one of the main contributors to the macOS port of RPCS3, and I managed to get my hands on a very early alpha preview. And this is definitely not ready for public use at the moment. There are many issues with how this emulator works. Most games won't function properly. So your expectations have to be fairly low. However, you have to understand that this is a very impressive technical achievement. This current build of RPCS3 is the Intel build. So we're running the game through the Rosetta 2 translation layer so that the Intel build of the software can run on the ARM architecture. And at the same time, we're also emulating a fairly recent games console. And some of these games have been released as recently as 2015. And so any kind of gaming performance we can get out of this emulator is going to be very impressive, even though it doesn't necessarily compare favorably to say a similarly priced computer running Windows, which fully supports the Vulkan Graphics API. You have to understand that on the Mac side, there are far fewer users and far less interest in developing game emulators like this. And when you're emulating game consoles, it's really all about the optimizations that are possible and the amount of people and the amount of work that's being put into it. So when we're looking at this version of RPCS3, we have to realize that a lot of the standard features of emulators have yet to be implemented. So for example, we're not able to even use a DualShock 3 controller yet, and we don't even have generic controller or Bluetooth controller input. So all the games I've been playing today, I've had to rebind to my keyboard. And also the build of RPCS3 is intended to be a native ARM64 build. However, this current build is an Intel build, and therefore we're translating via Rosetta 2, which is gonna make the emulation slower. This pull request only represents the very beginnings of the macOS port of this emulator, and there's still a huge amount of work that's required in order to make this ready for a release to the public. So here I've tested a whole bunch of games, and unfortunately most of them do not really work that well. I'll say that more than half of these fail to load at all past the main menu, and only a fraction of those I'd consider actually playable. However, I think that the future of emulation on the M1 Mac chip is very bright, and you can see some progress. For example, the PlayStation 2 emulator has come leaps and bounds over the recent macOS port of this emulator, even just over the last six months with the implementation of the Metal Renderer. And if we can get similar development for an emulator like RPCS3 for PlayStation 3 games, then I hope to be able to see performance that is similar to an equivalent Windows computer. So first up is the game Dragon's Crown. So this is a 2D beat-em-up game that's an exclusive to the PlayStation 3. And this kind of makes it a very good candidate for this type of emulation. This is because we can't run this game through Windows, through Crossover or through Parallels. And so the only way to be able to play this game on a modern computer is going to be through emulation. And I'll say that this is one of the few games that I could find that runs quite well. So we're running around 45 FPS. And this is not too surprising given that this is a two-dimensional game. Most using basic sprites. There are lots of animations that happen as well as kind of attack and spell effects that happen on screen, which might make the graphics a little bit more demanding. However, out of all of the PlayStation 3 games that you could find, this is one of the least demanding that you can get. And this game performs particularly well, especially considering how much emulation is happening. So the system that I'm testing on today is the M1 Max chip. It is the version with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 32 GPU cores and 10 CPU cores. And this game seems to run well on this machine, especially in this section running around 45 FPS. Later on in the game, the kind of frame rate drops a bit more, especially when the levels get a lot wider. However, I can see that there's a lot of optimization that could still happen, and that these optimizations could apply to these simpler two-dimensional games, as well as more complex 3D games too. So next up is the game Tekken Tag Tournament 2. And what I found with this game is that it runs at a quite a low frame rate. What I've tried to do is to lower the render resolution to 50%. However, this doesn't seem to have helped the actual performance of this game. When we're playing this game, it feels like we're kind of walking through treacle. It's running really, really slow. And also there doesn't seem to be a frame skip function for RPCS3. And so if the frame rate drops, it kind of goes into this 
very slow movement, which is not great, especially for a game like this. However, graphically, it seems to be mostly rendering correctly and is really a prime candidate for some further optimization on the M1 Mac. So next up is Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. So I'm actually playing the game Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, and this seems to work okay. We're running around 20 to 30 FPS, which is not really great, especially if we consider that this is a game that's available on PSP. And if we run this through the PPSS PP emulator, we're gonna get much better graphical performance too. So one thing I've tried to do is to run Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, however I couldn't actually get that game to run, so therefore we're only able to run Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. So as I said, if you're interested in running this particular game, please check out my PPSSPP native ARM tutorial. That's going to show you how to run this game with the best performance on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So next up is this rhythm game called Hatsune Miike Project Diva F. However, there is some kind of flashing on screen, so I'm just going to include this for a second just to show you. However, when you get to the actual menu and actual gameplay, that flashing seems to stop. So I'm not very familiar with this game and how it works, but we seem to be running out of 30 frames per second, which looks like that is what the frame limit is. So it looks fairly playable. You'd want this game to stick to a more solid 30 frames per second, given that this is a rhythm game. However, this does look to be very close to be fully playable on the M1 Mac. So next up is Persona 5. And as you can see, this game does render on RPCS3. However, the performance is really, really poor. Later on, we're getting around 20 to 25 FPS, which is far better than the previous section, but not quite what I call playable. This is a real shame, as I know that the Persona series isn't very well represented on the M1 Mac. And so the demand for emulating any Persona game on the M1 Mac is quite high. So next game I tested is Demon's Souls. Unfortunately, despite the fact that the Demon Souls menus all seem to render, albeit with some graphical bugs, it's a shame that the actual in-game gameplay is not visible. We just have a kind of black screen. We can actually see the user interface and hear some sounds, but we can't actually see any of the actual screen. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a simple fix in the future. I know for a fact that a lot of people want to be able to play more from software games on the M1 Mac. And emulating a game like Demon's Souls, which is relatively simple to do on a Windows computer, would be a real boon to the M1 Mac. So next up is the game Little Big Planet 2. And unfortunately, we're not able to get particularly good performance out of this game. We're running around 10 FPS, and it looks like we're running through a kind of slow motion filter. It's running really slowly. However, the full game does seem to render without any particular bugs. And so it's very impressive that we're able to get this working in the first place. It's just a matter of a bit more optimization for the M1 ARM chip. So the next game we're looking at is Tokyo Ghost Hunters, which is a Japanese visual novel game. And this, as far as I can tell, seems to be working perfectly well. And again, this is not very surprising given that this is pretty much a fully two-dimensional game. And visual novels tend to be probably the least demanding type of game that you can possibly get and requires very little resource in order to emulate. And for the time being, it's gonna be very low end games like these, which make good candidates for emulation on the M1 Mac, as there's still so much optimization left to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little run through of RPCS3 running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. As you can tell, it's really, really early days, and this is merely a glimpse of what might be possible. What excites me the most is that some games are already quite playable already, and of course there are lots of games which don't even launch at all, I'm afraid. Games like God of War 3 or Red Dead Redemption won't even start. However, I do have high hopes that PlayStation 3 emulation development continues and will get greater performance and even better compatibility in the future, especially when more and more developers contribute to this project. So big thank you to NAS who helped to provide the build binary for RPCS3. Once there is a public release of this emulator, I will definitely make a video to cover it. I'll be covering any improvements in performance or compatibility in the future. For the time being, if you're interested in emulating other systems, there's been some huge developments in the PCSX2 PlayStation 2 emulator with the introduction of the Metal Renderer, which vastly improves compatibility and performance for PlayStation 2 games on the M1 Mac. Please check out this video in the description. I also have a playlist of tutorials of how to run many of the retro game emulators on the M1 Mac. Please check out that tutorial in the description as well. If you found this video interesting, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about the future of game emulation on future Mac hardware. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.